Ash. No good men on this screen, just uh, uh, a space bounty hunter is what I think Samus is. I, I never paid attention. Right. Yeah, no, I've, right. I've played a bunch of the Metroid games, I never paid attention to the story. Versus the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Extraordinaire. Oh, goodness. Gonna be getting into it soon. They're just doing a button test real quick. But anyway, back to my my point before ahead, we uh, yeah. I like it. we got onto our, our little tangent. Oh, it's not a button check. We're in. Oh wait, here we go. We're into it. Icy missed. Obviously, she always does it well. Oh, the down air. All right, she's making a statement early on. Dash attack in though. Kamehameha pushing Icy off stage. She finds a way back on quickly though, using the tether, and now is just threatening him in that corner. Names are backwards again. Uh, just a heads up for production. That is Icy on the left and Kamehameha on the right. There we go. Shout out to production. Uh, production killing it all weekend, of course, but racking it up. Also killing it. Kamehameha's up airs, obviously. You've seen a lot of that move from Sora. Juggling tool, catches up the ledge. There's your charge shot right there, last. Honestly, it's a, I kind of like that opinion. Still looking much better for Kamehameha than I, I might have initially thought as he goes very low, catches Icy Mist rising with the up B, the up air as well. Still not enough. Samus, a heavy, heavy character. Uh-huh. Ooh, he falls Punish. out. Yep. Back throw right here, setting up. Samus, one of the best lead trappers in the game, too. For but free. Sora just kind of gets around it. He does land yeah. directly in the face of an oncoming charge shot. But, like, Sora has the, the floatiness and the movement tools to just kind of get off ledge, but apparently not the tools to kill Samus. Is huh? Icy Mist takes herself out of the equation by thinking she had a jump and then falling through. Something I was going to say, too, about Samus. She's so hard to contest off stage. You know, she has a good path to the stage all the time, but Icy Mist, you know, unfortunately, just loving right there. Nice Blizzaga to interrupt the follow up of the charge shot, too. Very clean. I don't know what's going on. Chat's like, what is going on? Because I don't know. You need to tell me. We're all seeing the same thing. Here. Stuff's happening. Roy SD, Samus SD. Think I'm I supposed know. to know? No. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. But here we go. Back air off stage. Looking for him on the this hunt. This is my house. Kamehame. This is a big house. Charge shot out of the corner. Kamehame tries to catch Icy Mist, lacking with the fire, but. No, the same things that worked on Cosmos are not really functioning here. Icy missed yeah. a little bit too quick with the cancel into the shield. Still, though, a pretty significant lead for Kamehameha at the moment. Speaking of, like, the Cosmos set, the shield pressure was so good with, like, by Kamehameha. Forward air and neutral air bouncing off the shield. I wonder how good that's going to be against Samus. Samus kind of, like, doesn't really have to get attacks. out of... Yeah, she can, like, either one screw attack up be out of shield to, to escape almost instantaneously, or she can just kind of stay in shield. She's, like, not super worried about escaping that pressure because eventually the opportunity will come. Cosmos was more concerned with what, reversaling, whereas Icy Mist not really. She'll, she'll get her chance and get her chance. She does. Rar Bear connects and we're down on our last stock. Clean, man. I love that back air on Samus. Fits so well into the kit. Combos out of oh, Let the whole thing rip and going far away, too. Samus is a lot of things. Not super quick, though. This Samus, at least. The hey. other one, yes. Even her, uh, even her frame data, not all that yeah. spectacular. Yeah. It's more trap-based than anything else. But yeah. when those traps do get going, when those setups find uh, and start hitting, you're in trouble. And Kamehameha might be in a little bit of trouble right now. Because we've seen the, uh, the, the relative kill percent significantly in Icy Mist's favor. She's dying at a much higher percent than Kamehameha is. Uh-huh. We'll make it back to the ledge here. Try to fight around Sora. Again, avoiding that up air is just part one. If you can avoid it, that's great. But what does Sora have for you on the other side as well? What's it going to look like? What's he going to find? Forward tilt, something at the ledge. His Thundagas have been hitting very well too last. Yeah, a lot of the spells. Like, we, we talked about it with the yeah. Cosmos set. He's the magic man. He's, He's a very, wizard, yeah. He's very, a very man. good at connecting those spells. But Icy Mist finds her space in the corner. And there it is, that up out of shield to punish. Nice. And then no gets way. the landing. Are... What a way to end game one. It's insane because I felt like Kamehameha had all of... Uh, the momentum going into that last stock, and then Icy Mist just said, nah, back air, eat this, take the heal, take the game. And it was the same on stock two as well. Kamehameha took yeah, the stock yeah. first, and then was like trying to get comfortable with like a little bit of stalling off stage, a little bit of like, ledge shenanigans to, to maybe build some extra credit, and Icy Mist said, um, actually, back air. <laughs> actually? Going into game, game going two. Going to Icy Mist. I was so ready to be like, all right, Kamehameha took game one. Like, he just had the momentum, he's playing very, very well, all that good stuff. However, Icy Mist. She stole that one away. Yeah, well, while Love we it. have a little bit of uh, downtime in between the two games, I do want to take a moment to discuss what I, I hinted at earlier, which okay. is relative kill percent. And I think that's a concept that is kind of like underexplored in Smash Ultimate, where like you've got a heavy character with a lot of kill power versus a light character with a lot, uh, a, a medium amount of kill power, right? In in Sora, so 26% on both characters does not mean the same thing. 
Yes, that's, oh, 100% for sure. I mean, you see how easily, like, Sora's so good in so many positions, but he definitely does explode a little bit. Like, he does, like, his stocks can be taken early, as we saw in that last game. Conversion right here? Nope, a little too high up in the air. Yeah. Chat with the update, by the way. Mars is up 1 0 on Bark. That's all they wrote, which is actually super funny. Oh, yeah, because uh, Bark, Bark, Bark was he did mod the skills in to take down Esam 3 0. He did, yeah. Esam and, and Zenodo, uh, which we watched. Yeah, I believe Esam out at 17th, Zenodo out at 13th, and now. Mars and Bark are, uh, are fighting it out for nine. <laughs> it's too funny, honestly. It's but here we go. Kamehameha getting Ooh. the There it is. Those conversions are going to work better. As we saw him earlier, he was playing against Aegis, so it was harder to get those hits on the, the skinny you know, Fighter Pass 2 characters. But against Samus, it's going to connect a little bit more. Yeah, and Small Battlefield as well, definitely serving uh, Kamehameha's purpose, being able to find those vertical KOs. On Town and City, I have no doubt that Icy would have lived through that just because of the higher top yeah. blast and ceiling. Now has to drift back a little bit using the uh, the down beat to try and get out of dodge, but Kamehameha's pressure does not let up in the slightest. Huh? Continues pouring on this damage. There we go. Pressure in the corner here, like we said, he's the magic man. Let him light it up with the thunder, but it's not working out. Full stock lead here for Kamehameha. The freeze the other way. There's no way. That that, that must have been luck, right? Like, yeah, no I was way about, did that I was about to say, that was, like, that was a misinput that he happened to get lucky on because, like, no Kamehameha is, is godlike, but I, I don't know how far that extends, how much of a benefit of the doubt we'll give him. Right. This is all intentional, though. Uh -huh. Kamehameha's finding these aerial chains. So he's got a lot of chains on his costume. Right? Hey, really, the classic, classic Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts yeah, stuff, That's right? the, uh, the, the early, the like, 2000s fantasy designs. Totally. Go, neutral air, bouncing away like we said, that pressure. Oh, did you see her angle and shield yes. down, by the way? That was really good awareness by Icy. This loses the stock anyway, setting up the Blizzaga too in between. I love it. All for naught, though, as Kamehameha is able to convert into the stock nonetheless. Rising up air has Icy Mist just trapped on this platform as he continues to shark. Does manage to parry the final hit of that up tilt, though. So he's actually going to be able to get uh, boots on the ground yeah, first time in a significant bit. Okay. Hold the shield there on the Thundaga. He can maybe nice. Can maybe does go. not want the smoke. He's just waiting. Yeah, exactly. Well, Samus ledge trapping. We talk about it all the time. Rising up air though. More and more pressure here. Trying to find another one, but can't. Good avoidance there by Kamehameha. Trying to extend this lead and potentially take the game down here. A jab, okay. Great adaptation from Kamehameha already throughout this uh, this game number two. Yeah. The game one didn't go his favor due to a couple of factors. Stage definitely being part of it. A lot of the, the kill setups that he went for just did not take effect on Samus's heavier uh, frame. But on Small Battlefield now, a lot more stuff is going his way. Like that, reads the get up attack and hops straight over it. Now has nice. Icy Mist juggled and I believe without a jump to a floaty without her jump. Very easy to continue those combos on in versus sure. Maybe taking it for a lot of damage. Exactly. This counter pick of small or uh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was time. gonna say small battlefield looking really, really good here for Kamehame too. Boom, the Sonic Blades is connecting too. Big damage here for Sora. Oh, oh tries turn to around, reverse reverse I like there, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean, good idea here. Doing it again. Looking for the up air to finish it off. Yeah, we'll find oh up yeah. B that time. Yeah, just pull the trigger on it. Nice shot tying it up one one right now. Kamehameha versus Icy Mist. A brutal two stock as well, uh, especially considering the like, game one was certainly last hit with Icy Mist just barely finding that reversal back air to be able to take the stock out. Game two, going uh -huh. that far in favor of Kamehameha is, is absolutely phenomenal adaptation from him. Definitely. Oh, for sure. And I think, too, it's just like as close as game one was now, now it's Icy Mist's turn to fight back, right? You gotta see what the counter pick stage is. You gotta see how you make the adjustments in the neutral, all that good stuff. Because Kamehameha, I mean, that was a very, very dominant first stock. Kamehameha was at like 60 when Icy Mist was all the way down past her second stock. So, looking really tough here for the Samus coming into game three, but she's gotta remember, you did take game one, so it's Absolutely, all good. Yeah. It's all good. All, all good. We're, we're only tied up. Like, sure, it was a, a dominant set, but this is Icy Mist and Kamehameha talking about it. This isn't 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, it, it kind of is. We're just playing a best of three now. Oh, thanks Those for the update, chat. Mars 1-1, one, one, Bark Wizzy. Nice. Bark. Yeah, this is... Uh, we got that dog in him. Essentially just a best of three now with yeah. Icy Mist being able to the pick the first the stage. That's why, yeah. that's why we got 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard in front of you. For sure, for sure. Samus going up against Sora Oh, there again. it is. Hollow Bastion go. stepping up. Let's go. Let's get into it last. Icy Mist. 
tries to get a grab out of that, but Kameme very wisely Ooh. getting away. Gets the nair, though. I like that uh -oh. spacing on the back air there, too. Icy Miss has been going for a lot of these up airs, spacing out around it. Nice job by Kameme. Oh, this get back over here? That was like halfway across. That was like the whole platform on uh, Hollow Bastion. What the heck? Playing Mortal Kombat out here. Yeah, the old Scorpion, Upbeat, man. out of shield. Oh, Kamehameha gets the shield out in time and finds the reversal with the dash attack, too. Icy Mist, the, the conditioning options that she was doing so well in game number one yeah. are not functioning nearly as well in game two. Like, she wants uh, Kamehameha to, like, shield the the charge shot and then, like, try and dash back, or she wants Kamehameha yeah. to get hit by the charge shot. He's not doing it anymore. He's realized, oh, this is what my opponent yeah. is looking for. This is how I can use my defensive tools to my advantage, and now I will own. Sure. See, there you go. And I was going to say, that is good shield pressure, even on Samus, which is incredibly valuable and getting the conversion into the up smash very nice. Like, typically, Samus doesn't care if you're jamming on her shield because up B, screw attack, is so good against that. But with the floatiness of Sora, how he can just bounce off your shield, really unique thing to have in this matchup. Because honestly, like, even characters with really good shield pressure, it gets shut down by screw attack a lot because they need to be right on top of Samus. Oh, oh no way! No! no! All the individuals, the one hit! That's 10%. the level. That was like in Kingdom Hearts when you're level 100 and you go back and you fight a Heartless that's level 1 and you just bonk it in the head and it gets KO'd. See? Thanos snapped that out of existence. That was ridiculous. There. This is. Kamehameha has like two states of being right now in this set, and that is one, shield pressuring Icy Mist with his aerials, and two, using uh, using Sonic Blade to just completely zone break her. Like, she tries to reset into the corner, charge, charge shot, or maybe even ledge trap, and Kamehameha just immediately uses that side beat to just say, hey, I'm in your face now. Yeah. Get back in shield so I can go back to pressuring you. But around here again, spacing with the back air. The aerials have been really good for Kamehameha here in the second Whoa. set. Nice, good use of the Morph Bomb there, contorting the Hurt Box a little bit for Samus, avoiding it. But again, we're looking at a full sock lead here for Kamehameha, looking like a lot like Game 2 again last. Rising up air, though. Yeah. Going to be able to get at least a okay. little bit. Okay. Starting to cook. Yeah, Icy Mist too, like... Oh, uh, and there's the zone break again. Uh-huh. Icy Miss getting the offense started. Usually, like, with her, you see such a strong offense, but Kamehameha's just been shutting it down and avoiding the best hits. Like, a good tech situation is going Kamehameha's way. Now you got to try to land here as Icy Miss. What do you do? Trying to fast fall here, mixing up the platform or not? She finally lands, but I don't know. Last, it's going to be tough. Oh. Oh, eviscerates that shield there. Icy Mist having to get out of dodge immediately or risk being Ooh. shield broken. Falls out, though, before the final hit of Thundaga can do its job and take the no. game. And no, not going to be enough. And I'll just does it. not mash there until the what? very end. Oh, that was ankles right there. And one mixtape by Kameme. That was disgusting. Shattered. Two, two just, yeah, dusted those ankles. That was gross. The turnaround from the, uh, the Faraga. Wow. Dude, it's crazy because he was playing well when we watched him play against Cosmos, but this is another level. That was disgusting. Next level gameplay coming through by Kameme, representing his home country phenomenally. I know there's a bunch of Japanese people in the chat cheering him on for good reason. I would cheer him on too. I, I am cheering him on. You know what? Might not be from Japan myself, but I can appreciate a good Sora. Oh, of course, man. Any good player, you know, always want to see them do well. Speaking of, obviously, you got Ice Mist on the other side, too. Love the Samus gameplay as well. So, no bias, of course. But, God, that was a, what a what a way to end that game. No, it was three. I, I never thought I'd see Jukes that strong. That was gross, yeah. It's well, crazy. And like I said, too, like the shield pressure of being in that zone is pretty unique in the Samus matchup. Like, not a lot of characters can do it quite like that, so... Icy Mist probably not used to somebody being able to both one zone break and two shield pressure so efficiently against her. Usually used to having one or the other as a, an always available All right. tool. <laughs> all right. Kamehameha is feeling himself for sure. Like going all the way off stage like that. But Sora does have the tools to make it back as well. Like you've got to push the advantage wherever you can with your character. Drag down into the up air again. This man. Kamehameha racking it up. And the Thundaga getting a raw KO off the side of, like we said, the magic man, the magicians in the building. Off Cast all go. the spells. Watch as I make your stock disappear. Oh, wow. it beats out Samus Fair with Nair. That Jeez. is not something you see every day. Catches the roll onto stage with a Nair loop as well into Jeez. the up till up air. The damage comes fast. Uh huh. And even there, using the one hit fireball to force Icy Mist into shield so that either one, she has to take the hit and probably a dash attack right after and then an edge guard, or just has to stop charge shotting. See, there it is again, bouncing off the shield. It's so good. That time, good adjustment by Icy Mist going to the aerial instead of the up B, which is easily the go to shutdown tool for uh, pressure on Samus' shield or, or in her zone, basically. 
Fighting her way out there though, forward air. Good pressure here, tries to clear it out with a neutral air. Can't find it though. Spot dodging thought the second one was coming and looking for the follow up, which is a good idea because he has been going back to the ledge in that position before, but he has so much mix out of Sonic Blade, honestly. Keep going, and if you keep going, which direction do you go? You don't have a lot of time to react and punish Ooh. it, as you're seeing. Yep. And Kamehameha is so confident in these scramble situations as well. Icy Mist trying to force him to panic and pick a, a bad option by just continuously doing, like, jab one shield, jab one shield. But Kamehameha doesn't fall for it in the slightest. Just gets, uh, just stays confident, spot dodging when he recognizes that Icy Mist is going to go for an attack, and yep. then firing back. Icy Mist, though, okay, does finally take okay. that first stock. 120 on her, though. Not long for this world if Kamehameha has anything to say about it. Yeah, especially in Smashville. Ooh. I mean, we're looking at upbeat percentages at this point. You know what I mean? Good conversion. Look for it. Back air. Again, that back air has been so good for Sora, too. But oh, wait. Oh. The platform. Good retreating option there, but Icy Mist on the ropes here on the second stock. See what you can find. Upbeat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Called it out. Right into it, man. Yep. It's just, again, like, that neutral air, you can hit that, but leading it right... Oh, hold on. Up air. Looking for an almost instant one there, too. Very nice. Ooh, almost gets a reversal there with the uh, the, the mine tripping Kameme up as he tries to go for the offstage pressure. But even then, Ooh. he's so, so good at circumventing all of that pressure and just gets out of it and finds a reversal. Look how he's peppering in the back airs. He wants the extra range on them. It's so strong because he's been using fair and neutral air so well around that zone. But when you throw in that back air too, by, oh, Faraga almost getting the confirm into the fair as well. Very nice. Oh, Icy missed a wayward dash attack going to result in her once again being under pressure. All three hits of Sonic Blade. Big damage, honestly. It does 17 or something. Ooh, that was almost disastrous for Icy. Tried to wall jump for a mix up there. Kamehameha dash called attack. it out but didn't commit to the call out. I thought we might see an instant dash attack right there. That move is crazy good for Sora Perry. Ooh. Looking for roll in. Here we go, conversion into the up air. Do you see Jeez. where that hit, by the way? At his belt, basically. Kamehameha. Dominant, actually. It's not, you know, game one looking great for Icy Mist. Very clean back there to take that game down. However, Kamehameha so strong in those last three games. And you, know, you can't forget yeah. about the ankle.